Hi, it's Linda from the Bubble and Sweet blog and today I'm going to show you how to make sweet pastry shells. For this recipe you're going to need 225 grams or 8 ounces of plain or all-purpose flour, 40 grams or 1.5 ounces of icing sugar or powdered sugar, 125 grams or 4 and 3 8 ounces of unsalted butter, an egg yolk and I think you all know how to break an egg yolk but I'll just do that quickly for you. So you only want the yellow bit from inside and I'm going to say the egg white maybe make some macarons or something out of it. Okay so I'll put that to the side to use later. And I'm going to make mine in a um, blender because it's the easiest way. So just pop all the flour in, the sugar, make sure you get it all in. And I'm just going to stick the butter evenly over the top. And then I'm going to just pop it over to blend. Okay, so I've given that a quick blend for like uh, about a minute or so or less and you can see that it's fine and crumbly and all the butter's mixed in nicely. So now what I need to do is add the egg yolk and give it another whisk. So the egg yolk's distributed evenly throughout the mixture so I'm just going to pop it out on the counter now and just give it a quick knead together to make sure it's distributed. Some of the little bits in the corner of the um, blender don't mix in properly. You can probably scrape it down while you're in the blender but I just find this is the easiest way to do it. Just pop that in the fridge. I always like to put it in a little disc before I pop it in the fridge. And then when I get my rolling pin, it'll be e easier to roll out. Okay, I'll wrap that in some uh, plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge for a while. So I've chilled my dough now for about 30 minutes and I've got out my rolling pin. This is the same rolling pin I use to roll out cookies because pretty much it's the same thing. And I'll just dust down with some flour and wrap some on my rolling pin. And now I just want to roll the dough out quite thin. Now the reason why I'm turning it and lifting it is so that it doesn't stick and also by turning it a little bit each time I roll it makes sure that I'm rolling it out evenly because if I was just rolling one way it would end up quite thin but still thick on this side. So Now I'm going to, um, instead of just making this into one big tart or pie, I'm going to make lots of little ones with this dough, but you can see it would be enough to make a pie base. If that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out with a round. And I've got these little cases here, they've got removable bottoms which makes it easier to come out later. And I'll cut my round out and then I'm just going to pop it and push it into shape. Now if I want to even the top off, I just need to run the rolling pin carefully across the top and then remove that excess. And I'll just pop them on a tray so I can chill them, ready for baking. These are all baked now, so um, 
I had to blind bake them. So what that means is you pop in a little bit of baking paper and then you put some rice or some little weights in. I actually use a glass. I just stick them in like that while I'm baking and then take it off to bake it for a few minutes afterwards to brown it up. Um, and I think these turned out quite well. They're um, nice golden colour, nice shape. I'll just fill those and they'll be delicious little afternoon tea treats. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll be showing how I make this lemon cream in my next video due out in a few days. It's a great feeling for the pastry cases I just made.